there's a relatively broad misconception um, that your business banker should be your partner. Are you a business partner? Glad you asked that one. It's, I think it is a misconception. Um, first, if you're coming in, going into business, gosh, I want you to succeed. Okay, that, that'll just thrill me to no end. But here's the deal. I'm not going to be able to lend you my money like an investor would. Okay, I'm going to lend you money that the community has put on deposit with the bank. Okay, I'm also not going to get the rate of return that an investor would. I may not get the 25 or 35 percent returns right. when you make a profit. I may only get my seven, eight, ten percent of interest, but I need to be able to make sure I can get that back mm -hmm. um, because it's not my money; it's a community's money, and we have examiners that come in that uh, want to make sure that we're living up to that. Uh, examiners are guys that don't have the personality to be accountants. <laughs> so they're a humorless group and um, it, common sense also just kind of says that uh, we want to make sure that, that we're not lending out the community's money um, without a real good chance of getting it paid back. And that's, that's what keeps us from being a true partner in the company. Okay. In that case, then how can business owners help themselves by establishing good, positive relationships with their bankers? Well, I think you need to be proactive. I think you need to go in, meet the banker, heck, I'd say buy him a cup of coffee. The banker would be happy to buy the cup of coffee or even breakfast, but have a regular 90 days, 180 days chance to go in and just sit with the banker, tell him what's going on um, or her, and, um, and let the banker know well before what the needs are so that they know your company, they've got an opportunity to grow with a company. and. Um, Gosh, and don't surprise them. Trick or treat. We, surprises are just no fun. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, I need twenty-five thousand dollars. Well, how long do we have? Well, I wrote the check yesterday. It's, it's a tough one. Mm -hmm. So it um, it helps if we have an idea of what's going on. And the best way of doing that is to communicate with the banker before you need to.